the first thing we note here is that it's a slip jig, which means a time signature of 9-8. So there are nine beats in each bar. I would approach this uh, from a right hand point of view with a down up down pattern. Uh, so in uh, one bar of 9-8, well, I would play a pattern of down up down, down up down, down up down. In case there's any confusion, uh, the tune is in the key of G, but I've written the chords in the key of D because I'm using a capo on the fifth fret, so I'm playing it and imagining as if there was no capo. I make wide use of hammer-ons in this tune. Uh, that's where I play an A note, for example, on the fifth string, and after I've struck the string, I play a hammer-on onto the fourth fret, so I'm playing a C sharp. I haven't written those on the chart, but you can hear them and see them on, in the video as I play them. By the way, YouTube has a great facility for slowing down videos. In the bottom right hand corner by the settings wheel, you'll see uh, an option to slow down to half speed, which makes it very handy for stuff like this. So check that out. The parts in this tune are written two per line because they're short four bar parts. So each line has two A parts, two B parts and so on. Since the tuning is dadgad, the left hand is not very demanding, so I would suggest that you spend a little bit of time fingering your way through the, the chords uh, to get used to the sound uh, using the chord windows and at the same time uh, practice the up and down pattern of the right hand. When you're ready to have a go at accompanying the tune, it appears on this video with the chord chart as you'll see. Uh, so have fun and see you in the next lesson.